Ben Moody. I wrote and directed Last Girl Standing. I'm here at the New York Horror Festival coming from Austin, Texas. But uh, yeah, I've been here for the whole weekend. It's been a lot of fun. Last Girl Standing is about what happens after the slasher film. The girl that survives every horror movie. We see where she is five years later and how those events have affected her life. It's a little character piece horror movie, I guess I would describe it as. We've been making shorts for a while, short films for a while, and then we were looking to make a jump into features. We had a script that was a bit, quite a bit bigger that was just, we were having trouble because, you know, we hadn't made a feature. So we were looking for an idea that was more feasible to do. I didn't want to wait around for someone to give me money if that person ever exists. So like we wanted to do something within our own means. And, Eventually we had a baby and my wife who's the producer of the film who's been producing all our shorts and everything too So we were stuck at home for the first week of having a newborn and I caught the end of a slasher movie But just starting at the end and seeing the girl finish off the killer all her friends are dead And then it like leaves her traumatized and I said what if this was a starting point not the ending point point?" and so that kind of got my mind racing and honestly, within 45 minutes, Rachel and I had sort of hashed out the idea of the movie and like a lot of the major beats in it and everything. It was something, this whole pitch of, you know, what happens after the horror movie. Well, I wrote it in like two weeks and worked on the developing for like maybe a month. So we set like a springtime filming. So we just went right into pre-production at like in January, February in rehearsals. And I started texting a couple actors that I knew that I'd been talking to about working with and Everyone really like got it really quickly and I have Akasha Villalobos as the lead and I kept giving her out so I was like you know if the, you don't like the script whatever but I was like I'm gonna write it for you if you're interested. Everyone got it. It seemed to work. It's something everyone really gravitated towards so yeah it was just like it felt good. It didn't feel forced. It just it just felt really good. We shot over 18 days. That's sort of long for an indie at our scale, but then, you know, it's minuscule for, you know, most movies. And trying to come up with the, the idea was, oh, we need to do a one location thing. And I was having a hard time with that. We ended up with like, you know, a 12 location movie with like almost 20 speaking roles. It was like the exact opposite of what you're told to do for your first feature, but I guess I like not doing what I'm told. <laughs> so yeah, it was a pretty crazy shoot, but in Austin, you know, we have Robert Rodriguez. He has a thing that they call a Rodriguez list now, which is make a list of assets that you have and write a script to that. Um, I wasn't like too strict about it, but like my number one asset was actors. And so actors was the top of my Rodriguez list. And then like, you know, someone had worked at the laundromat for a while. So I was like, well, what if she worked at a laundromat? And then I liked the visual image to help reinforce this uh, repetition and cycles. It works so well in the movie now, but it was like, you know, what if I didn't, what if someone didn't work at the laundromat? <laughs> like where would we have ended up? Would it have fed into the theme so well? It was a big group effort. We'd done a lot of short films. We knew a lot of people in Austin. We'd kind of every now and then just put out a thing on Facebook, be like, hey, does anyone know a bar they think we can film at? Or hey, does anyone know someone that could carve a Ronald Reagan sculpture out of wood? And for some reason, someone was like, I know someone. <laughs> and it was like, okay. Uh, did uh, Rachel, when she read the script, she's like, it's funny. But how the hell are we going to get that? And somehow, again, Austin is really cool like that. Didn't feel too hindered by, uh, like, yeah, my creativity. Because, yeah, Austin is pretty flexible. It's funny, yeah, people are always amazed that we've been together 11 years and we've been doing film stuff for 8 years. So, like, it's been there for a while. As everyone in Austin will tell you, yeah, she's the brains. I'm just, <laughs> I just write crazy things and she goes, okay, okay, let's figure it out and do it. We uh, cast Akasha Villalobos. She's a local Austin actress. She got involved very early in the process, basically the start of the writing process. I cast her husband in a few things in our slew of short films. We cast her one time, and yeah, I loved working with her. It was super fun. I'd been rapping with her like for a while, just about like she was wanting to do more feature work. She's done a few features, but like side character things. We talked a lot about the dramas that she was interested in, and so like I kind of like hoaxed her into <laughs> like coming to horror because I was like, look. If if we can do a horror movie, it's easier to find an audience in horror. And she was never like hesitant or like looked down on horror. It's just a genre she, you know, she gets scared very easily. <laughs> and so we, when talking about it, and then like we kind of did like a crash course on horror for her, and we got her into it. We would analyze all, you know, different performances. And I had like a handful of these are like the classics. She really appreciated the range that happens. And Danielle, too. 
when I told them I want the girls to do their own stunts as much as possible and do some fighting. They were so excited about that. They were like, yeah, we don't get to do that stuff very often. I just try to treat everyone like a normal human being instead of like, oh, this is the eye candy or this and that. So uh, I guess that's what was different maybe. I just want to tell stories that people watch. I went to college here at SVA, uh, so yeah, this is kind of like a nice little homecoming thing. I was here for a couple years back then, and I met this other guy, Michael Black. Me and him really bonded because, you know, you get to film school, and it's like, they do that stupid, that's everyone's favorite movie, and everyone's like, eight and a half, and all these things, and I'm like, no, that's awesome, and I'm like, uh, Raiders, uh, Texas Chainsaw, and then when I heard his, we kind of like, we're like, all right, we're cool. Anyway, Michael and I, yeah, we dropped out of school together, moved to LA together, and um, we both kind of got working out there in post, I worked at Trailer House, starting to cut trailers. You know, we've been best friends for 15 years, so all we do, the movies is all we do and talk about, and yeah, so we've done projects before together, so I don't know, we have a short hand. And, uh, so yeah, that I, yeah, I don't know if I could do that with just anyone. <laughs> this is our New York premiere. Mm -hmm. uh, we yeah, we premiered in London like two months ago at Fright Fest, and then we're just kind of starting the festival circuit. So New York premiere here at the New York City Horror Fest. Like again, just having gone gone to school here, it was really nice to come back and play. I mean, I had friends from high school come down from Maine, uh, people from college come. So no, it was a kind of nice little homecoming to reconnect with people. And everyone back in Austin is super supportive and just they've been like blasting it out to everyone. So yeah, we had a great screening last night here. Um, yeah, a great crowd. That's the thing with horror and comedy is there's a uh, like physical reactions to an audience when they're watching it so like yeah the first 20 minutes I'm usually sweating in a sque screening because I don't know if the audience is uh, into it or not but then once um, yeah once the comedy or like yeah just little jokes come in and then the horror kicks in again it's just like okay like they're in it and I'm like I can relax <laughs>